And I know bleh, another AMD Ryzen 3000 CES announcement video. I get it. Let's just move on. But I do want to amend a couple things that I said in the previous video, respond to some comments left on the video, and then we're going to do an in-depth analysis of whether or not AMD is trying to destroy Intel neath their mighty tread, or if they're just going to release a slightly higher clocked 8-core CPU like I alluded to in the previous video. Links in the description. Now, before we go any further, let me just address the previous video. Now, I made a couple assumptions in the beginning of the video that couldn't necessarily be taken for granted. Now, the first assumption that I made was the CPU that Lisa Su showed at CES was definitely a Ryzen 7 CPU. And honestly, nowhere in the press release do they specify that this is a Ryzen 7 CPU, and this will become important later in the video. And another thing that I assumed that also wasn't necessarily to be taken for granted was that they weren't going to release a Ryzen 9 variant. So even if it was a Ryzen 7 CPU with eight cores, it doesn't mean that they weren't going to release a higher core count Ryzen 9. And then the third thing that I took for granted, which I was pretty sure was specified somewhere, but I couldn't find the source afterwards, so I can't assume that, is that AMD tested a stock clocked whatever the Ryzen CPU was that they were using against a stock 9900K. I mean, this could be an Intel style performance comparison where they actually only had two cores active on the 9900K and they had eight cores overclocked to five gigahertz on the unspecified Ryzen CPU. Okay, what I'm going to do now is recap all of the arguments that I made in the previous video. Uh, if you want more detailed looks at these points, uh, you can watch the video itself. I'll have it linked somewhere, but just keep in mind that I am going to change the base argument of the video a little bit just to suit the point that I'm trying to make in this video. So if you need some time to go check out the video, I'll wait. We'll, we'll all wait, right, Steve? We're happy waiting. Yeah, Steve's happy waiting. So the argument that I'm going to make while using the previous points in that previous video to substantiate is that the CPU that AMD was showing off at CES was actually a Ryzen 7 CPU and that they're most likely, at least at the initial launch, not going to launch a Ryzen 9 16 core CPU and um, yeah, they're just going to stick with the same core count in the lineups that they have at the moment. So that is an 8 core Ryzen 7, a 6 core Ryzen 5 and a quad-core Ryzen 3. Now, there are four reasons why I think this might be the case. The first one is, is it actually technologically possible for a 14 nanometer to 7 nanometer die shrink and some architectural changes to, is it, does it actually allow for a 16 core 5 gigahertz CPU to be squeezed into that tiny package? Now, yes, I do know that there is a space for another eight core chiplet, but having 16 cores at that clock speed in that tiny package may be may run into some thermal limitations. Although I, I'm not an engineer, I don't know whether or not this is actually the case. Now the second argument is, well, should they even go for it? Because the thing is, one of the biggest shortcomings in Ryzen CPUs compared to the competition, i.e. Intel, is single core performance. So if they put everything they have, um, everything they can gain from the 40 nanometer to 7 nanometer die shrink into single core performance boosts, then and I think it's better for them as a company because honestly eight cores is already a pretty good sweet spot for when it comes to productivity and gaming performance and that brings me to reason number three which is well do they really need to release a 16 core mainstream CPU that can potentially overclock to 5 gigahertz to combat Intel that seems a bit pointless because Intel won't be able to compete against that CPU for a long time and then the fourth reason was well Threadripper and now we can finally get to the counter argument against all of this, the thing that several people commented in the previous video of mine. And that is that AMD is out to destroy Intel. They want nothing more but to wipe off bits of Intel neath their mighty tread. Now the argument basically goes as follows. If you look at the TDP of the CPU that they showed in the test, in the tech demo, um, it actually lines up perfectly with the adored TV 
leak of the 3600 Ryzen 5, which is their kind of like mid-range CPU, which is going to supposedly be an eight core CPU at 16 threads with a higher, with a higher core clock so that it can beat the 9900K. And the argument is that because there's space for another chiplet, they can add the chiplet to make a Ryzen 9 CPU with 16 cores, and they can add a chiplet and disable some of the cores to make a Ryzen 7 12 core CPU. And with Ryzen 3, they can make a six core CPU by just using one chiplet and disabling some of the cores. Now, yes, that does kind of show that there is technically the ability in this platform to create the lineup that Adored TV showed. And what this would mean is that this CES press release announcement thing is one of the best marketing strategies ever done. Because then, whatever event they officially announce the Ryzen 3000 CPUs at, let's say, for example, Computex, Lisa Su can walk onto stage and say, look at me, I'm AMD. And we're announcing the 3000 series Ryzen CPUs. Now you remember a couple months back, we showed off a undisclosed Ryzen CPU that was competing against a 9900K. Well, jokes on Intel, that CPU is a 3600 and it is a $250 CPU, let's say, and it beat not only beat, but wiped the floor with a $550 high-end Intel CPU. And not only that, we're releasing a 12 core, five gigahertz overclockable Ryzen 7 CPU, and we're gonna release a 16 core, five gigahertz overclockable Ryzen 9 CPU. Let's hope your cooling can handle it. And that would be the single greatest tech announcement of all time, in my opinion. Now, honestly, as a consumer, I really hope that this is true, that the rumors were correct, and they are going to launch this amazing, like, industry-redefining CPU series. Because, honestly, if that's the case, the only people who are winning is, well, the consumer. will be getting significantly more power, um, and, you know, AMD's stocks will rise, and everybody will be super happy. But the point that I'm trying to make with this video is that there is a conceivable argument for why the rumors might be incorrect, for why AMD might hold off on a 16 core Ryzen 9 and a 12 core Ryzen 7 CPU. Yes, there are arguments for why they might release them, but we need to keep the hype in check because that's something that often happens with AMD. Like the most recent example, there was this expectation with Vega that um, the Vega 64 was going to be a 1080 Ti destroying GPU for $500 and all that that meant is that the launch was disappointing and it kind of sucked and honestly an 8 core Ryzen 7 3000 CPU does actually kind of make sense, even though it isn't as exciting as a 12 core or 16 core one. Anyway, with that, I think I've kind of covered the topic more completely. Uh, let me know in the comment section below what you think of this retake on, on just the general AMD CES announcement. Let me know if you think they're gonna try and destroy Intel once and for all, or if they're gonna take a slower, more tactical approach to it. That makes it sound like I'm very biased to the first one. Again, I'm just trying to keep keep the, the hype at bay. Anyway, if you like the video, do like and subscribe to the video for more videos like this one. And until the next one, bye-bye.